Welcome to the field guys. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of uh, this. This is uh, a knife I bought on Amazon, a custom made knife called the uh, SK056 from a shop called Damascus Depot. So they do custom knives in Damascus steel. Okay, I bought this for $54.99. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, SK56 wood. Showing up, not a fancy box. Let's see what we get. That looks like the knife. Leather sheath, really well packaged. Okay. Uh, it seems to be wrapped in some kind of really thin paper. Okay, good job in protecting the blade. Blade end there. Good, well done. Okay, now I can smell oil. Some kind of general purpose oil, machine oil, WD-40, can't really tell. Alright, so the blade has been oiled up. Okay, so is some of this part here, the bolster. Let's give that a clean. Okay, and this has been oiled up as well. Right here, I'm back. Uh, I'm giving this a clean. And yeah, uh, really nice. Okay, so here's how you look at the knife. You've got uh, wooden handles with uh, brass bolsters, okay, and uh, what looks like uh, rivets that have gone the way, all the way through the knife, okay. Full tan construction, as you can see. Okay, uh, now I'm not an expert, so I can't really determine if this is real Damascus or not, but what I do intend to do is sand a lot of this pattern down and then we'll see what we get, okay? Um, but yeah, really good looking knife, regardless of whether it's, whether it's real or not. I will test its construction in the uh, coming uh, months, okay? And I'll give you an update on that. Uh, from here, okay, let's um, do some measurements. So each of these boxes is five centimeters. So it's roughly 10, 20, 20 and a bit centimeters, as we can already see. But so eight inches, not even that. So yep, eight inches. Okay, and in centimeters, that is roughly 20.4, I'd say 24, 20, sorry. 26 looks like 27 millimeters okay all right so blade width at the thickest part is about about one let's say close to 1.4 inches okay Handle length, four inches, which is ten and a half centimeters. Also, the thickness in centimeters is four centimeters. Okay. Blade length, all right, is roughly three. A little more than three and a half, so 3.6 around about. 
and nine and a half or nine point seven millimeters uh, nine point seven centimeters wavelength. length okay um we'll do handle thickness so the thickest part you have roughly about 3.3 .3 inches which equates to roughly nine centimeters the thinnest part at the front is about Two point seven, I would say, which is about seven and a half centimeters. Okay. Um, blade thickness at the back over here. It's about four millimeters. Okay. Yeah, and it keeps its thickness. All right, those are measurements. Let's do a um, size comparison now. Okay. Just got my Leatherman. So it's actually the same size as my Leatherman with the blade open. Okay. Next up is the Gerber Bear Grylls Survival Knife, or also known as the Gerber Ultimate Knife nowadays. Excellent knife, by the way. Okay, next up is the SE6 and Desert 10. Okay. And next to it, okay, next to the Gerber by itself. Okay, and lost. A Winchester Bowie. Now this is 14 inches long. As you can see, it's a it's not a really big knife. Okay, nice, nice size. Let's put them all together. Okay, right here. Okay. All right, so let's have a look at uh, the uh, handle construction. So wood construction, not that slippery, decent, but uh, you know, maybe a bit of sanding if you really want a good grip would help, but well polished, nice look, okay. Really small size. I have about slightly smaller than medium hand size, and uh, it, it uh, really feels good. Good jimping. It follows the shape of your thumb. So if you want to do detailed work, that's all right. Yeah, you could actually expand that finger choil all the way up to there. I don't know if that will decrease some of the stability of the blade, though. Okay. And the bottom of the handle is pretty... You know, in sh in shape with the uh, with the rest of it. So I don't know if you can use that, but it's nice and flat. You can really use that. Decent construction. Okay, let's do a sharpness test now. Now this knife uh, was very sharp out of the box, and it actually cut me while I was cleaning it. So I know it's pretty sharp, right? Ooh, pretty sharp. That is really sharp. Right. 
I'm not good at this, so I mean, if I can cut this, an expert. All right, so I mean, not really as sharp as I thought. Or maybe I just suck at this. All right, let's do a shaving test. Because that is, to me, is the ultimate test of sharpness. All right, let's bring it in. All right, yeah. So, razor sharp, okay? Damn. And if you're wondering where that went, that was my SE6 review, okay? Oof, very sharp. All right. So, yeah, well done to Damascus Depot. They did send it to me uh, sharp right out of the gate. So, well done. Covered it in oil, so protected the blade. So, you know, I'm not going to diss them. I will uh, test this knife out, and like I said, I'm going to sand some of this off and, uh, you know, see what it looks like. All right, so let's have a look at the sheath now. Okay, nicely done sheath. Feels thick. It included some leather there. Okay, it can go into a belt loop. Uh, it's probably for a right hand carry. You'd have to carry it the other way around if you wanted to carry it on the other side. Okay, it looks like good stitching. Can't tell if it's hand stitch or machine stitch, I'm not an expert. Okay, I do do some stitching myself, but this side definitely looks, uh, the holes look like they were punched with a, either a machine or a punching machine or a punching pricking iron. Nice pattern, okay. Good solid construction. Let's test it out. Okay. So. Not very tight. Okay. It's a loose fitting sheath. Uh, usually it would be friction fit. But, uh, you know, for this price, I can't really argue. Alright, so it does have a bit of retention. Not too much. Do that again. Really put it in tight. So, okay, not very good retention, but, you know, gets the job done. All right. That's uh, my review of this knife. This is the Damascus SK, uh, the Damascus Depot SK056. I'm going to put a link uh, to their website uh, at the bottom of this page and a link to where I bought this on Amazon. Okay um, For $54 uh, 54 dollars I can't really complain. Okay sharp knife full tang blade and really nice uh, wooden handles with bolsters. Okay um, Well, yeah, thanks for watching the video and if you like videos like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel. All right. See you later